When you put something together and you like, oh yeah, this gonna be a hit. This gonna hit. And then that bad boy flop. See, where is everything? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? To another episode. Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Danielle, but you can call me Donnie B. If you have not done so already, I ask you to please drop down, hit that subscribe button, also turn in your post notifications so you don't miss out when I post and upload. Y'all, this is my very first PR marketing event. I was reached out to this company, uh, I think it's called Black Candle Studio Lounge. I'm going to leave the, um, the name of the candle board down below because I know that I'm messing it up and I do apologize about that. But they reached out to me on Instagram, asked me to come over and give them a look. Um, they're having their first marketing, well, they're having a marketing bit today. And they wanted me to come and, you know, capture some footage. And I'm going to also go ahead and post it on Instagram as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head on over and get, hit hit a follow for your girl, all right? So let me go ahead and go in. It started at 6 o'clock. It's currently like 6.05. So I'm just like five minutes late. And so I'll see you guys inside. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I pushed out a lot and I got a lot that came in, so thank y'all um, for coming in um, to my new location. This is our new home, um, Golden Black Candle Lounge. As you see, we have over 4,500 square feet in this space. Um, we have um, did some few tweaks. So this time we have two class offerings where everyone is hanging out at that bar, the, the larger bar. That's our classic class. It's 90 minutes. Um, and each person will leave with um, two personal candles. In our new class offering, when you make your custom scents, you can um, leave with a candle, you can leave with a room spray, and you can leave with um, a body mist. They have work in the And I can put you in. Uh, just the classic okay. and a spam masubi. Alrighty, one classic hula hula, one spam masubi. What else for you today? Um, that's gonna be it. Anything to drink or a side of fresh cut pineapple to go with that hula hula today? Oh, no, thank you. No worries. And are you part of our rewards program by chance? No, I'm not. No worries. You can always sign up online on our app. You get a free soft serve next time you come and see it. And oh. you get $10 off for your birthday. But for now, what's a good name for this order? Fred, F-R-E-D. Alrighty, the classic Hulu Hulu and the spam. Soon it's gonna be fourteen fifty six. We're gonna see you. First window. Thank you. Mahalo. Hey y'all, welcome back. It is another day, and it has been another busy day. Um, I'm actually just heading back out. I was out earlier today. I had to film some content um, for um, a brand that I'm working with. City Trends, you guys have seen me working with City Trends before over on Instagram, uh, where I go out and film the store and also film a couple outfits. If you're not following me on Instagram, I suggest you go over there and check it out because the, um, the fits be fire. So right now I'm on my way to 
of the Dollar Tree because I have I want to make some DIY scent booster because y'all the scent booster the price for scent booster or scent beads and stuff they are going up so much they have become ridiculous and I just want to try to cut back on how much I spend because I do be want my clothes to smell good the scent boosters make your clothes smell good but I just want to see if I could do it on a budget and so I'm hitting the Dollar Tree to get some Epsom salt and if I'm sure that video is going to be up already by the time you see guys see this because i'm i'm filming and i'm filming and editing and posting the same day it's gonna get done even if it is at 11 o'clock tonight that video is going to get put put up so make sure you go and check that video out to make to see how this actually turned out but let me tell you about the event that i went to last night it was simply amazing and i say that because um the fact that someone's some the fact that i was actually invited to be in the room with amongst some other larger social media or content creators social media influencers or content creators it just kind of solidified and let me know that you know sis you doing something right you are on the right track and just keep pushing keep staying consistent because y'all it, it's hard out here being a content creator and i'm sure most of you that are watching this you're content creators as well and sometimes it gets a bit discouraging because you put so much work into stuff and then the 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 feedback and everything like that you get from it is not as much as the work and the hard, the hard work that you put into it. And so y'all, that can get discouraging. Um, some of you may say that, oh, you have such and such uh, followers and this is that and the other such and such subscribers. And um, but yeah, that's true. Um, but, you know, all the work that I put into it, not saying that anybody else's amount of work that they put into it is less than mine. But, you know, when you put something together and you're like oh yeah this gonna be a hit this gonna hit and then that bad boy flop you talking about a deflation of the ego oh my goodness um but also remember though you are not where you want to be someone is looking at your content looking at you and they're looking at you to where that's where they want to be so you know be joyful and love the space that you are in and enjoy the moment. If this is something that you really enjoy, um, just continue to push forward. This is, I see social media as like my outlet because, um, you know, I have the kids, I have my husband and, you know, sometimes we tend to forget about ourselves. And so this is my don't forget you type thing with me doing my content creation the act the actual ability or the time that i take in order to create my content that's my time for me and i love watching um watching back what i put out there because I, I i i mean i just love it the creativity just being able to do that 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 does it for me I hope that makes sense to y'all. I know I still say that a lot, saying I hope that makes sense. But the way that sometimes things are in my head, sometimes I can't get it out the way that I want to. And I just hope that you guys understand and you following me. So basically what I'm saying is like my social media content creation is my don't forget you, Danielle. Don't forget you, mom. So whatever it is for you, don't forget you, whether it's cooking, don't forget you, whether it is um, going for a walk or just journaling. Don't forget you, mama. Don't forget yourself or don't forget yourself, daddy, because we get caught. We get caught up in the family that we we overlook ourselves. So um, don't forget you. All right. Let me get into this store so I can hurry up and get back. Let's see what they got in here. This Dollar Tree is usually empty. There's usually not too much of anything in here. The shelves be kind of bare. But hopefully I can find what I'm looking for while I'm here. And as I'm saying this, some of the workers, the employees are walking by me looking at me like, don't be, but y'all know y'all shelves are bare. When you walking by, you don't see absolutely nothing on the shelf. You know your shelf is bare. So don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right, so I am actually looking for some Epsom salt and I am in the wrong aisle because I'm over here with the toys. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I say the shelves be bare. You see that? Where are the cleaning supplies? Where are they? 
So this, so you can't look at me crazy when your shelves are really bare. See, where's everything? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Epsom salt, Epsom salt. They might not have it. I wanna share this with you guys. They don't have what I'm looking for, but this is cool. It's a collapsible basket. I know some of you guys like to go and shop at Aldi and like um, there's a, they charge a quarter. They charge a quarter for you to get a buggy, but if you're only getting a couple items, you know, you don't have to be searching for that quarter just to get you a buggy. Uh, so you can get that collapsible basket and you know they also charge for bags so if you already have your basket in the car you can just use this to put like if you have a few groceries you can use this to put your few groceries in and so dollar 25 and you have it all the time and then you just leave it in the car it's pretty cool but again they don't have my uh they don't have the epsom salt that i'm looking for but they do have these socks and they are $1.25. I'm debating on whether I want to get them. They're called mix a ruse so none of them actually match. And so you can mix and match the socks or however. But yeah, none of them actually match. They're all different. So they're not meant to have mates. So I'm still debating on whether I want to get these to wear them around the house. Because I do not like walking on the bare floor. <laughs> so... I'm just thinking about these. Ooh, I see this. I'm all, I'm running low. Well, I'm all out of this one. This is my favorite toilet bowl cleaner. The Lime Away, it smells so good. It smells like minty, mentholish. So I'm gonna grab that. And then I'm looking for the um, glass cleaner. I don't see the glass cleaner. It's probably one of those spots that's empty that I just showed you. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go without that. Cause it's really good. <laughs> It's better to me, it's better than the Windex. Yep, I don't see it, so I guess this is it. I'm just gonna grab these couple of things and I'm gonna walk out of here. So, I do have some Epsom salt at home, but the Epsom salt is actually in uh, one of my containers in my bathroom. But that might be what I use, so I'm not spending any extra money because the thing here is to save money and be budget conscious. Yep that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that that's what i'm gonna do because i only need like a cup of it and so yeah th that's what i'm gonna do use what's at the house i've been gone for too long in a faraway land trying to find my way in searching for where i did belong Coming up with a plan Somewhere I can begin Memories of my hometown Keep crawling back in my head Been around the world all this time Still couldn't match how we felt How we felt I can't wait to get home Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.